back. So let's try and do the same installation on Mac. And the first thing I do is pretty much just go to Google and do a .NET Core like this and just find the download for .NET Core Microsoft com page right here. And here if I go down these guys, there's actually a .NET Core and a .NET Framework. And we're working with the .NET Core Framework, which is the newest guy. This is the old framework. Um, and that's not cross, this guy's not cross compatible for different uh, OS. So here we're going to grab the package this time. So I'll do a package download here for the .NET Core SDK again. Notice it's a bit different. It's a different page, but I just did another access point here. That's the only reason. It downloads the SDK here, and then I'll try and install it when it's done. So the download is done. Let me double click this guy to actually start the installer. Install pops up. <clears throat> the installer pops up pretty much like the one we saw on Windows. I'll just continue, 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 install. Just, if it it asks me to, of course, use my password. Here, I'll just use my touch key, and it installs this SDK, and there's really no rocket science here. It's just out of the box, run the package, and you're pretty much done. I'll close this guy, go over to my uh, Visual Studio, and on the Visual Studio now, I'll do the same as I did on the Windows machine. I'll go under Options right here, instead of Properties, and on the Build General, there's actually a .NET Core Framework. Now I can pick for 2.0. Oh, I'll say OK, I'll do the next guy, I'll right click, Options, General, .NET Core, 2.0, OK, next guy, right click, Options, there might be an easier way to do this, but it's not something you're going to do that often, I hope, uh, because we shouldn't update our framework all the time, it's just because I want to show you guys how it's actually done. So there we go, now they're actually all up to date, there's only the NuGet package that's not up to date yet. So what we're going to do as the final thing here is we want to also update our NuGet this entity core framework in memory is still 1.1. So let's make that into a 2.0 as well. So I'll do an update by right clicking it and it'll try, I guess, to just get the newest version for me and install that if it can. When it's ready to actually complete this, it pops up with this and I'll say accept. And now it's actually going in and updating my in memory uh, entity framework core right here. So now it actually says uh, in memory 2.0 here and we're done. We have the installation done on Mac as well. See you next time where we will actually start making our REST API.